Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of World of Tanks Aces and I'm here around on the cliff map in my batch at Leon 15558 or com more commonly known as the batch at autoloading artillery because at tier 10 the French get the only RT in the game right now that has an auto four shot water loader. Now if you're thinking that sounds a bit too overpowered, well it has some drawbacks. First of all the time between the shells loading is six seconds uh, with the loader that I have here and the loading time to for uh, the reloading time on the magazine is 70 seconds which is a long time as you can see here I battle is already well underway but uh, I still can't fire anything at anything but this gives the great thing about this is that it a gives you some time to move about it is so from one end to the map to the other if you need to and also to get some tactical advantage for example this T44-100 uh, hasn't been moving much and well now he's stuck there and now he repairs it so I can't actually shoot at him but this IS-3 is about to get shot at and any second now he's about to get the bad news that his couch is awaiting him. There it is. So, uh, less than two minutes in and I've managed to do 650 damage, which is alright for artillery. The tier 9 artillery, uh, tier 9 French artillery can easily do as much in that time if it hits. But now the waiting begins and at this point if you get rushed by a scout you are out of luck. You can't do anything at all other than ram them. But of course you can pre-aim and move to an advantageous position but on this map in this situation this court the corner that I'm in, so K1 is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm not about to get rushed by anything. And here's another Grille 15 who is just waiting to get hit by artillery, and that T44 54E1 is uh, for some reason decides to rush that T49 and it didn't work out. However, I've been loaded which means I've got four shells to spend managed to get the T... Uh, Grille and the F T49 didn't hit the uh, T54E1 however, pulled his tracks and now I'm... Uh, now I've moved back to the cliff in order to make me a very difficult target for the enemy artillery and that's another drawback with this thing because you have a magazine you don't really want to move between the shells loading so uh, if you see a batch at, uh, batch at 155.58 on the enemy team you can be pretty sure that he won't be move between shells which makes him an easy target for counter battery fire. So what has happened now? Well we managed to get the uh, eastern side without much of a uh, hassle and we are now taking back the center. So as soon as this T44-100 dies he will have the center and at first I thought he's going to go you know, down the hill cliff but he didn't which means I now have I'm now loaded and can give him the bad news and he's tracked and our object for 16 managed to get him before me so 
I move forward a bit in order to get a better shot at the last known position of the Grille 15. And now I just pre-aim and hope that he hasn't moved much. You can see on the minimap that our TDs, especially the grill, our Grille 15, is moving up. And this allows us to, allows me to be pretty certain that if the Grille is here, he's going to be spotted. And there he is. Our Grille gets a shot off, their Grille gets a shot off, however he didn't move, which meant that he's down. And you just noticed that um, Tracer there? I didn't at the time uh, that I was playing. S but So that pretty much gave me a disadvantage, however there he is. And in a normal artillery that would be that. That's game over right there, but I've got another shot in and I hit. Killing that Conqueror gun carrier. And now it's time for the scores as usual. So here we are, the mandatory ace tanker, gorse medal and the high caliber for doing 5144 damage. Now that was very lucky in a way because uh, getting 12 shots off and hitting 6 with 5 doing with an additional 5 doing splash damage you it's rare for any arty to hit that often or do damage that often and the trick really with the batchet is to stay alive for long enough to get those high important uh, highly important uh, tanks enemy tanks down quickly so for example you will reload the first clip take let's say an E100 down to uh, let's say a third health that's the important thing with this RT and then to go for the thinly armored tanks that you can easily penetrate and wreck with your four shot autoloader now of course you need to reload after uh, after you fire those four shots, which is uh, annoying some of the time. Anyway, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you a lot next time.